Well, it's gonna be a good day. Today's day one in Kathmandu. Uh, it was great. Start of the day, I got to meet Joel. We've got a big agenda. We went and saw the monkey temple, which was mind-blowing. It was awe-inspiring, honestly. I'm not used to having something in such scale. It's, um, it's completely overwhelming. It's, it's a total sensory overload. And, and the thing that's amazing is they still find a way to make it feel uh, spiritual, you know, feel meaningful. I think the thing I'm most moved by is all these people coming up all these steps to pray, to, to offer something here. It's one of the most sacred sites in Buddhism. And the Buddha represents wisdom and compassion. And I find the idea of people coming up here to receive wisdom and compassion kind of amazing. And then there are thousands of monkeys, <laughs> literally thousands of monkeys. And I think the reverence they have for these monkeys is just, just otherworldly. Oh, there's a man in there. There's a guy in there. Huh? Namaste. It's been quite a long time since I was in a place that was so different sort of rekindling the adventure in me. It seems like there is a lot going on and a lot to do here. We are going to Durbar Square to do a little shopping at the Spice Market a little bit later. Hello? Uh, pardon me, please? And honestly, I could keep going forever, but we're trying to start our hike tomorrow. We're good. Danyabat. Danyabat, thank you. Danyabat. Okay. Okay. Now I'm still dealing with some jet lag, but I was so excited when I woke up that I woke up with a, about a 30 body battery, if I'm being honest with you. I'm looking to get about 100 body battery if I'm gonna get things going tomorrow, so I'm gonna need to rest up before things get crazy. Yeah, we haven't even started the trek. Like, <laughs> this is day one. Um, I, yeah, if this was where we stopped, if this was all we did, then um, I'd be, I'd be content, you know? Wow. Yeah.